What's up, fam? This your boy, Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to share this video. I got some news for you, Negroes, today. What the hell is going on with YNW Melly? Have y'all been paying attention to his murder trial? It's over for him. Now, I know a lot of you guys are mad. I know a lot of you guys are upset because y'all really wanted him to be found not guilty. Y'all was hoping, y'all was praying that he get off, and it was all for the wrong reasons. Y'all wasn't praying he get found not guilty because he's an upstanding individual. Y'all wasn't praying that he get found innocent because he was respected in the community. Y'all wanted him to get off simply because he can sing good. Simply because y'all love his music. Have you heard some of these people talk? Oh man, I hope YNW Melly get off. Murder on my mom was my jam in 2018. Oh, I hope he get off. I made love to his uh, song on prom night. I'm not one of those people. See, I look at it like this. If YNW Melly did indeed kill his two best friends, he deserve everything he get. I see him in jail looking like a sick puppy. The jail, harsh conditions. I'm living in poverty right now. That's what happens when you kill people. Now, of course, if he didn't do it, I hope he gets found innocent. I'm not taking anybody's side. I'm not on YNW Melly's side because he can sing good because I like his song. Murder on my mind was my jam too. I play it every morning. But I still want him to be found guilty if he did it. See, that's the problem with a lot of people. If somebody got talent, we willing to excuse their despicable behavior. We did the same thing with R. Kelly. We knew R. Kelly was a scum. We knew he was guilty, but we turned the other cheek because he could sing good. Oh, we love that song, Ignition. We love stepping in the name of love. Tell me if you're ready. We loved all that. And we was willing to sacrifice our humanity because R. Kelly can sing good. And what he end up doing? Doing the same crime again and again and again. And the same with YNW Melly. If he's guilty of this double murder and he gets found not guilty, it wouldn't be surprising if he gets right back in jail for murder again. That's where I'm at with it, y'all. We got to start holding these people accountable. We got to stop excusing people bad behavior because they can sing, dance, because they can twerk real good. I don't give a damn about none of that. I'm old now. All those years are over with. If you do the crime, I want your ass in jail. That's how I'm with it now. And I'm looking at his murder trial. I'm paying attention to the evidence. It seems like it's going to be an uphill battle for YNW Melly. I'm just being real. I don't say it smiling. It hurts me to say it, but man, I think he's going to be found guilty. I think it's going to take him one hour to find him guilty. They got so much evidence against him. Pay attention to what this lawyer said. She got YNW Melly admitting to killing his two best friends, and she got the proof. She came with the receipts. Let's go. So in summary, the last thing I want to tell you that the evidence will show is that in the Instagram because the defendant had a moderate social media following at the time of these <clears throat> events. Y'all hear that? She said she have evidence on Instagram. YNW Melly, you're a high profile rapper. Your music is jamming, you got fans. Why would you even talk about a murder on Instagram? You know that stuff don't delete off the internet. Once you post something on the internet, even if you delete it, people still can dig it back up. That was stupid. And if you indeed did that, you're dumber than you look. Let's continue. People are reaching out to him. Some fans, some friends, some associates. You'll see on October 26th, after about 8 a.m. in the morning, Eastern time, multiple messages are coming in. Messages are coming in from individuals checking to see if he's okay, if he's been injured in this drive-by. See, you know how you know how I go. We black people. When we hear about something happening to somebody, something happened to your friend, we gonna tag you. Hey, bro, you okay? We gonna send our condolences. Sorry, what happened? Let me know something, bro. Shake back. So he was getting all those messages. Everybody checking on him. Everybody asking, is he okay? Well, he simply should have just answered, Yeah, I'm okay. I'm gonna fight through it. I'm sad I lost my two best friends. Ain't left it at that. But what he did, it was stupid, and I'm just shocked by it. Why would you admit to this on IG? Pay attention to what she about to say. It's shocking. Let's go. It is true that Anthony Williams, who's also sometimes referred to as Sack, and Chris Thomas, who is referred to as Juvie, are really dead. One individual, and specifically, sends out, and I want to quote the message exactly that you will hear, and says, Right after this, yo homie, you good? Let me know something. 
All right, so a friend or a fan wrote YNW Melly saying, are you good, homie? Let me know something. Now, what YNW Melly should have replied, I'm good, thanks for asking, and left it at that. He should have tried to get cute, try to be witty with the response, just simply answer the question and keep it short and sweet, especially if you knew you might have something to do with it. You should just shut the hell up all together. You should let that nigga on red. I'm just being real with you guys on that. You don't talk about this type of stuff on the internet. I'm just being honest about it, but let's continue. So in the context of this message, this individual is reaching out, asking if Mr. Demons is good after he's been tagged in multiple social media posts about this drive through, this shooting. And Mr. Demons responds very succinctly, I did that. Shh. Now how are we gonna explain that? Your two best friends die. Somebody write you to check up on you and they ask you, are you good? And your response is, I did that. Shh. That don't sound like somebody that's grieving. Now I know a lot of you guys gonna say, that don't mean he did it. Everybody grieved different. That don't sound like grieving to me. That sound like a man who telling somebody to shut the hell up. I'm good, of course I'm good. I, I was behind it. That's what it sound like to me. So when I look at this whole case, when I look at YNW Melly, when I see people saying free him, he gonna beat it. Y'all are in the now. It's evidence stacked against him. They tried to stage a drive-by. A shell casing is found in a car. They rolled around for hours before they dropped him off at the hospital. They were pinging locations. They even got rapper Fredo Bang involved. Because the prosecutors are alleging the moments after YNW Melly allegedly killed his friends, he pinged his location to rapper Fredo Bang and saying, pick me up. And Fredo Bang pinged the location saying, I'm right here. Pay attention to this. I got the proof. Let's go. So what you're also going to find out is while Mr. Devins is out there on the side of the road, 4 in the morning, 442 specifically, he sends a drop pin, digital homing beacon, to his current location, to one of his friends, Frederick Gibbons. Frederick Gibbons is also involved in the music industry. Okay, so Frederick Givens is Fredo Bang, and she is a legend that moments after his best friends was killed, YNW Melly texted Fredo Bang and sent his location, asking Fredo Bang to come pick him up. Now, we know how that go. We all got our phones. We all done sent somebody our location asking for a ride. She is a legend that Fredo Bang did indeed come scoop YNW Melly. Now, I'm not saying Fredo Bang is guilty. I'm not saying he's innocent, but I'm saying Fredo Bang, did you know what he just committed? Would you end on this? Cause this kind of sounded like accessory after the fact to me. Now that's probably why they called Fredo Bang to come testify. They asked him to release a statement and Fredo Bang did the right thing. He refused to cooperate. That's his right. But I'm just saying that just don't sound right and that don't look right. But let's continue. What the hell is Fredo Bang doing up at 4.32 in the morning? It seemed like he was laying and waiting, waiting for that text message, waiting for that phone call. That's all I'm saying about that. But let's continue. And he asked to be picked up. Frederick Gibbons, then about 11 minutes later, is sent another drop pin where Mr. Demons has moved a couple of meters. Y'all see that? This is only day one of the murder trial. I think the prosecution is winning and I think they ain't even released their best information yet. They haven't did the ballistics yet. That's really gonna prove that they are guilty. They ain't did the fingerprint testing. They ain't did the gunpowder residue. This is just day one and they already whipping the defense attorney's ass. That's how I feel about this whole situation. But I wanna know how you guys feel about it. Leave a comment, share this video. I love you guys, peace.